Hello there Libra, welcome to your career and finance reading for October 2022 or whenever you happen to come across it because you're meant to see it at a different time you'll be led to it. So let's start off with what do you need to know about your career or business? Let's see here. We have the King of Winter which would be the King of Swords and it's intelligent and partial, respected and unemotional. And um, Humpback Whale, at this time it's very important that you Communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional, and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. And also, the King of Winter is the sword, so it's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. And then we have Nine of Winter, which will be the Nine of Swords. So this would be Sea Lion. Your worries and fears aren't real. They, they're fueled by focusing on the negative, which gives power to that which you are afraid of. Stop worrying, let go of fear, and everything will be okay. So I'm saying you worry for nothing. I, you know, I know it doesn't feel that way, but that should give you some hope here, you know. That's not warranted, sounds better than it is. Okay, three of summer is the three of cups. Hummingbird, you have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation birth announcement remember to cherish those you love now this also could represent some kind of business opportunity it could be networking it could be um some kind of work celebration here okay let's clarify the king of winter king of swords let's see why do we have that here and we have the devil capricorn energy okay so with the devil coming up here that would mean that there's some kind of maybe toxic work environment or someone is abandoning their principles. This also could be temptations or it could be dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see, what about the Knight of Winter, Knight of Swords? We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so things are gonna start moving quickly here. This is good news, this is speedy communication, this is balance, or um, not balance, business travel. Balance, I don't know why I said balance. Business travel. Something might be balancing out here for you. Okay, what about the three of summer? Why is the three of summer here? We have the four of coins. Okay, four of coins, four of pentacles. This is um, someone holding on to something, maybe holding on tight to this um, celebration or just um, keeping things. It could be keeping things to yourself too. And also it could be... Um, Someone could be penny pinching or a fear of change. It could be complacent, but also could be, you know, sometimes it's good to keep things to yourself. Don't let everybody know what's going on with you. Okay, so now, what can you do to move forward? Someone could also be holding something back from you, too. Even though at this celebration, at the, I feel like for some someone, they're going to go to a business party or business meeting or something, and you can tell that someone's not telling you something. That's not going to be for everyone, but that's... Um, what do you got on that one? Let's see. Um, what can you do to move forward? Let's see. We have two of spring. So this is a two of wands and this is a pelican. Your wisdom, no, your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to access in your endeavors, assist in your endeavors, sorry, or expand the number of people helping you. So seeing that you, I wouldn't be surprised if the Ten of Wands comes up now since this card came up. So this is also, you know, saying a good business partnership might be coming in for you, or you need to, um, you, know, you need to do that. Maybe you need to partner up with someone um, to help you out here. And this also means fairness and ideas, or that you'll be on the same page with them. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Look at the sun, the happiest card in the deck. We have the sun, Leo energy. Okay, so now with the Sun card, this is, um, it's going to be being happy at work. It's going to be a growth mindset. It's going to be seeing clearly. And it says, your plans will work out well, bring you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So this looks like it's coming out good here. Let me just make a little more room here. One more. And we have Princess Summer. Okay, so that would be like the Knight of Cups. So we have romantic, flirtatious, introspective, enchanting. 
Okay, so the frog, a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things are more are moving very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. Okay, so that's what it says on this card. But being a business reading here or career finance reading, say also this might be that someone's very persuasive, so charming. Someone leads with their heart. And it's also be a lot of creativity here. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom now. <clears throat> three of Spring. Okay, so this would be like the Three of Wands. So this is Sea Turtle. Okay, so stop to take time to review and make long-term plans. Capitalizing upon your past experiences, successes, it's appropriate to put yourself on the pat. Oh, sorry, pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments. But you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. Okay, yes, because you are waiting for something with the three of wands here. That usually means that you're waiting, to, you, you're waiting for things to pay off, your rewards. But they're on the horizon. So just know that they're coming. Okay, now, the two of spring. Why do we have the two of spring here? The emperor. Ooh, coming into your power. I like that. So with the emperor, that would be, um, this could be like the masculine authority. It could be, um, plan of action, um, financial responsibility, taking charge, leadership role. You could be, um, getting into a leadership role here, or you are the person in charge. What about the sun? The high priestess. Okay, so this be it, like, because this is what you can do to move forward. It'd be assert yourself, take power, take control. And then we have the high priestess come right after that. So this is, um, your intuition is a key. And, um, you might be keeping things to yourself here. We do that. I felt that here, here too. So I would say, yeah, keep things to yourself. Don't let everybody know what your plans are because then they could try to disrupt your plans. And not that, not that everybody does it intentionally, but sometimes people get jealous and sometimes that things happen or, you know, they, they think of why it wouldn't work and they're putting energy towards your energy and you don't want that. So this is also very, um, I said less is more too, you know, that, that's what I'm getting because of secrets, less is more. Tell someone something, but don't tell them too much. Okay. What about this, um, Prince of Summer? Queen of Wands. Okay, I love this. Because here the Princess of Summer, you know, this is like very charming and, and, um, you know, but the, very charming and just, um, charismatic, I guess I would say. But then you have the Queen of Wands, who is very independent, a way shower, a go getter, you know, very attractive. I'm not, you know, this, this is just saying that whatever you're doing is going to attract attention and you're going to get, um, recognized for it. It's going to be, it's going to receive well. That's what I want to say. It's going to be received well. Okay. Now, how can you be more financially successful? Oh, eight a winter. Okay. This is feeling trapped when you're not trapped. So with this, we have bunting and it says, it is so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't, trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you if you affirm your freedom. Okay, so what this is saying is that you're mentally stuck in your head here when really this is not something that you really should worry about. I mean, I know it's there, you feel it and everything, but it's like it's you're doing it. This is like, um, this is feeling that they're restricted, but you really, you're not, you might feel like you're blocked at every turn, but you're not, you know, it's a mental prison that you're putting yourself in. See how these other birds are out and free. This bird is in the cage thinking they're, they're, they're locked in there, but they're not locked in there. You know, they, they can leave, but they're not realizing. So if this is card is to say that 
you really are not stuck like you think you are. There is a solution. And now we have the Hermit. See, now I'm going within Virgo energy here with the Hermit. And so a Firefly is take time for contemplation to retreat and go within. It's okay. Be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment. Yeah, so people, other people are watching you. They're, they're looking at you. They're looking for hope with, within you because they see you as having the light, having the knowledge, having the way to do things. So, um, you know, show them the way. I keep on feeling way shower for you. You are a way shower. Yes, you are. And so now with the hermit, you know, this is, um, maybe more self contained. Um, do the research. This is time management, but you have the ability to do whatever you need to do here. You might be, have to withdraw a little. I feel, keep on feeling that energy for this reading too. Is with this four of pentacles, with the high priestess. Keep things to yourself. Don't, you know, show people the way to do things and for them, but not, you know, don't expose your hand is what I'm trying to say. If you're playing cards, you're playing poker. You don't want to expose your hand. So keep things to yourself. And then we have, um, six of winter which is the six of swords so this is moving on it's rescue cat mixed breed it says the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead so you are moving away from the bad times you're moving away from this energy here after you probably go within you're going to be able to move on move on to something better move move away from something that was not fulfilling for you and with the six of swords this is like um it could have been stress related here or something like that but there's going to be a reduction in that and it's a change in position it's a vacation or a holiday you might be even taken need a time out take a break okay now we have the eight of winter let's clarify this eight of winter we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, we have the Queen of the Knight of Wands. So, hey, you know, I'm trying to keep this away from a love reading, but you might either there's a very good, passionate connection here as far as a business partnership, or it could be even someone you might find love at work. But this is a mentor. This is someone that's experienced. This is someone that's very motivational. This is someone that's very charming. This person takes charge. This could be your energy. It could be someone else's energy. But we do have the King and Queen of, of Wands, so I felt like I had to point that out. <laughs> okay. And this is, you know, you got the abilities to do whatever you need. Or maybe this King of Wands is helping you come out of this energy of feeling stuck. Now we have the Hermit, which is Five of Cups. Okay, we're going back and forth with this stuff, aren't we now? Okay, with the Five of Cups, this is feeling setbacks, maybe. Um, you might be feeling some kind of deception or something, or... You know, the company might be downsizing. But if it is, and you're going within, then you're going to be able to do what you have to do here. This is also feeling a loss here. Um, not seeing the possibility of two cups and dwelling on what happened in the past. Now with the six of winter, we have the seven of coins, the seven of pentacles. So with this card here, this is like, okay... You know, take a look at things again. Um, there might be a change of plans coming in here. Maybe that's why you're moving on here. Something shifting, something changing. Maybe there is like a loss here in the company and the company downsizing. You have to move on. If you do, this is saying it's for the better. But this is also keep on hanging in there because with the seven of pentacles, it's like also you're almost there. Don't give up. And this might be take a second look at something. And this is um, reassessing your goals or what you have to do here. And we have here the five ones. It could be a lot of competition too. So that might be coming up. And this is, um, it might be drama. You know, this is stiff competition. This challenges. Okay, now. Where or what do you need to improve? Five of Spring. Okay, here we go with the Five of Wands again. They're, they're here twice here. So this says, Ram, it says, Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize a conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. Yeah, so stick to your guns, but, you know, 
if you believe this is worth fighting for, even walk away too. It might be something, some kind of argument or some kind of conflict. Then you say, I don't really care and just walk away from it. Okay, then we have two of winter. So it's be two of swords. So um, this is being deadlocked, not being able to make a decision. This also could be no negotiations or it could be caught in the middle of something too. But here we have Dash Hound Dog says here, procrastinations and worrying about what others will think is blocking you from making a decision decision if you're if you're torn between your own desires and someone else's follow your inner guidance listen to your inner guidance listen to your intuition you do have the high priestess here so it's very strong and it's weird how it came out right underneath the high priestess so you do have the intuition to figure things out here and we have six lovers this is choice choice here choice here you know so there is some kind of decision to be made here gemini energy true and long-lasting love finds its way into your life follow your heart with caring actions and choices and then with the lovers coming up in a, a career and finance reading this is could be saying that this is um you need to face a decision here and there's going to be a beneficial partnership coming up for you and you'll be working for the common good so it might be a partnership and work okay so let's start clarifying this the five of spring And we have the Eight of Coins. So this is definitely a work card. And with the Eight of Coins, this would be um, maybe honing your craft, working more um, at your craft, maybe spend more time at it. It could be um, classes or workshops that maybe going to. And it's also eager to learn. But this is like really doing good at what you do. And that's why, why you probably have the Five of Springs too. Maybe people are jealous because you do such a good job. This is someone that is a... a um, someone that's really good at their craft okay now what about the two of winter two of coins see again you have choices you have two two and this is choice card too so there's a lot of decisions here so it's a two of coins this is you know trying to balance things out this is might be multitasking at this time this is maybe a fluctuation in money and this is being able to be adaptable here do what you need to do here okay what about the lovers Ooh, the lovers with the lovers. See, so the whole thing, this is where or what do you need to improve? So you need need to be more adaptable. You'd be able to make a decision. Hone into what you need to do. Um, try to, like, I want to say that not just, I want you to sort of, like, I don't know. With this competition, maybe sort of ignore it a little bit and they'll go away somewhat. Maybe not, but because people might be jealous of you. But there's, again, we have the lovers here. So very strong connection could be coming in it could be this king and, and and queen of wands even though we're really trying to stay on money here but it could be a partnership that turns into more or it could just be such a deep partnership because the lovers clarifying lovers this is really saying that this is something to you know pay attention to and then we have the star look at that so you're in the spotlight you're getting attention here this is um this is a, something turned down for the the best here on the right path it's the best possible outcome your wishes and dreams come true you could be in the spotlight getting a lot of attention here okay <clears throat> now someone wants to talk to you there goes my deal usually it happens more in the um the love readings but i'm getting a little scratchy here <clears throat> or else you know i have someone here that someone's talking so much to this person on the phone that they lose their voice tell me if that happens to you with this person at your workplace <clears throat> okay what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome <clears throat> boy Whew. okay renewal this is a judgment card so this is a wake-up call this is um you know results are pending here or second chance is coming in but the raccoon it says it's a time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the right path or you're on the path most divinely suited for you forgive what has been without judgment and fiercely embrace what is to come so fear so you need to forgive whatever happened in the past and move on from this is what it's telling you and then the prince of autumn would be the knight of pentacles okay seahorse it's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor once you have that plan in place then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible so once you i'm probably once you get this this figured out this judgment then you're going to have to act quickly 
So that might be an obstacle. Make sure you can move quickly. Ace of Summer is an Ace of Cups. So this is Dove. And it says, this print is so hard to read. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. Again, we have love here very strong and we have the high priestess. So it seems like this connection, your intuition is on fire. You're doing really well financially in your business. You're getting attention here. And it's the Ace of Cups. So there definitely could be love coming in for you. Even though this is supposed to be a business reading. But this is, you're going to be revitalized here. This is um, a lucky break or something coming in. Or emotional fulfillment in your work. <coughs> Boy, my throat is getting so scratchy. Okay, at the bottom we have Ace of Spring. Oh my gosh, another Ace. Definitely new beginnings for a new beginnings of passion here. So we have White Tiger and it says, A wonderful new opportunity presents itself. It may have come as a surprise, but you'll still want to leap into action and passionately pursue every possibility. That's saying that here too. There's going to be things coming in for you. So you might, what you might have to overcome is the fact that you might have to move quick. Because something's going to all of a sudden came up and just be prepared to take the leap because you don't want to miss the opportunity here i'm surprised the four well it still might come up the four cups didn't come up yet so um let's start clarifying okay now this renewal this judgment something coming back around even you know and this could be opportunity that is really going to be big so here we go the knight of coins see there's a messenger here with the knight of coins it would be the um, Knight of Pentacles says so this is dedicated, hard working, a valuable player here, a valuable asset here. And that's why it'd be someone that you can really depend on. Stable. Slow, but sure. Okay, what about the and Taurus Virgo Capricorn? What about the Prince of Autumn? Which again, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, I don't think I said that. Okay, and then we have the Five of Coins. Now, I don't know why this is coming up here because this is like saying that you're... Um, you're feeling lack, you know, you're feeling left out in the cold, a, a temporary hardship. This is, um, you know, down and out. But you know what? Maybe that's what it, if something happens where you, maybe you get left go because there's something else is going to appear right away. So if they, say a company lets you go, be on, be ready to jump at the opportunity because something might come in right away here. Okay. What about the Ace of Summer? And we have here the Nia coins. Yes. It's bringing your independence here. This is beautiful. So whatever's happening here, this is only going to be a short span, like real short, I would feel. And this is like, this is going to be like you're self-reliant here. You might be starting your own business. It's your fruits of your labor are going to pay here. This is your harvest coming in. This is independence. Bottom deck, we have the Queen of Coins. Yes. So now with the Queen of Coins, this is, um, you're going to be rewarded here. This is, you're very resourceful. This is, uh, you can do it all. This is someone that's very busy. Someone that is, you know, can take on a lot. Very stable and reliable with the pentacles. Okay, so now what, what is coming in the near future? <clears throat> and we have the Ten of Summer. So this is the Ten of Cups. So we have Prairie Dog. And it's time to express your love and appreciation for family be it relatives or in chosen family or close friends. Congratulations may be in order for a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. Also, this is saying in, you're going to have a very happy work environment. Business here. Could be a company. Okay, and then we have here Princess of Winter. So this would be like the Page of Swords. So it's um logical, truthful, Curious or undiplomatic. Okay, and then we have this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. It's helpful, it, it helpful information to put to your put to you bluntly accept the message without being bothered by the messenger okay someone might say something bluntly to you and just just take the message don't worry about where it's coming from 
they don't know any better. So let's see. The Page of Swords. This is detail oriented as also. Um, reading the fine print is expert opinions. Um, also, I would say that this someone might be watching you. You know, keeping an eye on you. Maybe they're even. You know, a, a Page of Swords is spy guy, spy girl. So if someone could be watching you. Maybe they want to. Um, you know, move you in a better position. You might get a promotion. It also could be headhunters or recruiters. Okay, now we have five is unity. This is the Hierophant. This is um, Polar Bear. Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You, um, you're many, you, oh, you, wait. You may feel called to act as a mentor. Have a new teacher or spiritual, wait, have a, find a new teacher or say, or spiritual time with others that are also on spiritual path. So this is the higher fence. So this is more of a spiritual card. It's a commitment card. It's, um, you know, this, this person looks like they're, this polar bear is teaching his cubs. So you might be called in to teach. Okay. And then we have three autumn. So this would be three of pentacles. Okay. Miniature poodle dog. It says your most satisfied, satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions. Um, listening to your heart and doing what brings you joy your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out within to the world yeah so there's something saying this is like the three of pentacles working together partnerships um being a team player so also it's um presentation it's collaboration so this is like you're yeah, working well with others okay now well, you might be in a new situation that you're working well with others and you get the Ten of Summers here. So this is awesome. And that's why maybe you're getting scouted out by the Princess of Winter because these people are very fussy about who comes into their little clique here because they want someone that works well with them. They don't want someone that's a deadbeat. Okay, so now let's see. Ten of Summer. We have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so with the Knight of Cups, that would mean... That this is being very creative this is um this could be a very um a very nice change it's like a um this is someone that leads with their heart um i don't know i just feel like a very loving energy here a, a knight of cups is offer here that you're gonna love okay now what about the princess of winter to a source. You know, this is an undecided energy here. So you might not know what you want to do at this at first. This is might be deadlocked. This might be um, caught in the middle of something. No negotiation. So maybe you have to neg 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 negotiate more. Oh my, I'm doing a lot of readings. And these, these financial ones are getting long. I'm sorry if you don't like them long, but this, they're very in detailed here. Let's see, we have the two of cups so this is a, a partnership here this is a work balance this is a union of assets this is um beneficial connection this is this is really working well the five and you know higher pent with the two of cups that that's awesome this whatever you're moving new into you're going to be very happy in this new position this new company this new place or even if you're starting your own business you're going to be extremely happy and then we have the page of cups so here it's an offer coming in for you this is um you got to trust your vibes on this. This is um. This is something that's very artistic. This is a message of hope. This is saying things are coming in. You're getting a lot of hope and, and help here, I would say. Okay, now, again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, what or whom is helping you? Two of Autumn. So this is Obsidian Cat. It says you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibility for one person to maintain or manage here it's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do okay so also with the two of wands you know it's like um there's some kind there's I, I always see the two of wands that either path is going to be okay. It's just going to take you in a different direction, so which means it's going to totally change your life either way. Um, and this is also could be a business partnership. This could be being on the same page. Oh, 
Okay, and then we have Princess of Autumn, which is the Page of Pentacles. Page, okay. So we have here um, Tabby Cat. Well, look how we have the cats here. Okay, so manifesting. Wait, I'm sorry. A wonderful opportunity related to your work or education. Okay, such as a promotion or scholarship to is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. See, everything tells you to get ready. Get ready because things are coming. Get ready. That's the, I got to name this get ready because things are definitely coming here. Okay. And so also with the Princess of Autumn, this is um, strategic planning. This is... Um, there's communication and work. There's something maybe coming. There's an offer coming here. This could also represent being an apprentice or an inter internship. Okay. And then we have three of springs, which is the three of wands. And we have sea turtle. So it says, um, stop to take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past successes. It's appropriate to put yourself on the, wait, it's appropriate to put yourself on the back. Oh, pat yourself on the back. I was like, put yourself on the, I was like, can't be putting yourself on the back. Okay. Pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments, but you, but you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. Okay, so you might have to wait because three of wands usually is waiting, but things are coming in. Just realize that things are going to come in for you. And then we have here um, Nine of Summer, which is, of course, the Nine of Cups, the Happy Wish Fulfillment card. We have Pomeranian Dog here. And now is the time when your dream... See, these this font is in a very um, faint white. I can't see it. Dreams come true. Don't worry about how this will happen. Just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that is still yet to come. Nice. Okay, now let's clarify these. Okay, the two of autumn. And we have here the seven of swords. Now this is some kind of sneaky behavior. So someone might be um, some kind of shady dealings here. Or this is even could be criminal behavior or... Um, you know, suspicious activities here that you have to be concerned about. And that's not going to be for everyone. What about this Prince of, Princess of Autumn? We have the Page of Wands, which is the... Okay, so Princess of Autumn is the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Wands is here. So this is some kind of message coming in for you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Princess of Autumn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know if I have been saying that because these cards are... So detailed with I'm um, reading them too. So um, with the page of wands, we have this is a a new opportunity, a new position. Someone trying to contact you. This is a creative project. This is um, a breath of fresh air. So someone's going to contact you, whether it be a phone, email, text message, or a letter about a new opportunity. Okay. Now what about this three of spring which is three of wands and then we have the moon okay pisces energy there's something hidden here but the pi with the moon card here this is a mystery this is unclear plans and this is um probably facing your fears too but this something is coming in so if you think it's not it is and then we have the five of swords hmm so this is poor leadership this is workplace conflict this is bullying behavior you're probably moving away from this atmosphere because you are definitely going into this new um energy here Okay, so, and maybe that's what's actually helping you move on because it says what or whom is helping you. And you get these cards in here. It might be pushing you to where you're supposed to be. Okay, so sometimes things that we think are really bad are actually good because they push us out into where we're supposed to be. Okay, your potential outcome we have the Empress. Nice. Okay, so this is like one of the most financial abundant cards in the deck. We have Angora Rabbit and it says time to hop into action use your natural creativity to 
bring forth prosperity and success in your life. See, definitely there's, you're going to have to hop into some, something that's going to happen quickly and be ready for it because you're going to have to jump because it's not going to be, that offer is not going to be on the table forever. So, um, this is fertile investments. This is feminine authority. This is prosperity and abundance and it's very lucrative outcomes, opportunities here. Okay. And then we have, and that's a Libra Taurus energy. And then we have the Queen of Summer, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the Queen of Cups. This is, um, being con content in life. This is finding your purposes. This is money isn't everything. You know, emotions have a lot to do with this compassionate, loving, um, giving and psychic. This is very intuitive too. And we have the high priest. You're very intuitive at this time. This is a time of deep emotional and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful. We don't ignore your own needs while caring for others see sometimes the queen of cups gives too much to others and they don't have enough for themselves so you have to take care of yourself in order to take care of others and then we have strength card leo energy so we have masani Ma masai lion and lamb i don't know um true strength is displayed through kindness forgiveness and compassion you have tremendous personal power and courage so you are very strong at the sign these are very strong cards here so your outcome is that you're going to be very financially abundant here and you're going to take your power back if you have lost any power you're taking it back and the six of spring this is like the six of wands this is getting your recognition be acknowledged for what you do here rescue dog mixed breed and it says you may receive a promotion be chosen for a scholarship or find that you you're Find that you're singled out to, for a special recognition. You're done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. So this is saying, yeah, you're getting your accolades here. You're getting, a, you're getting recognized for your work here. You're getting rewards, promotions, bonuses. Okay, so everything's coming out good here. This is a great outcome. What about the Empress? Let's clarify the Empress. And we have the Magician. You are manifesting. The, to me, the Magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. You are manifesting anything you need in life. You can do this. This is the Law of Attraction. This is materializing wealth. This is um, all the desires that you want. You are able to accomplish them here. What about the Queen of Summer? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords... You know, this is like you're worrying about some insomnia. It's a victim mentality. This is a clouded judgment, but this is not warranted. You have all these good cards here. Have faith that things are working out, that you don't have anything to worry about here. What about the strength card? We have the five of wands. There is competition, yes. There's people probably jealous of you. This is drama. This is challenges. This, this is stiff competition because you are achieving so much. People like to knock you down. You know, it's like... Um, we have the hermit. You're going within. You are very strong. It's Virgo energy. So, um, this is self-contained. This is, um, doing research. This is time management. You got this. You definitely have this. Okay. Let's see what signs we're dealing with for you guys. What are the signs, please, for Libra? This one wants to pop. Leo. Gemini. Aquarius. Scorpio, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Virgo. Now for the letters. We're going to see what letters we have for initial first, last name, and if you know someone's middle name, if they have it, you get that initial, all the better. Past, present, and future. This might be people you're dealing with in the workplace. We have K, P, V, Z, L, M, J, P, R, F, and N. Okay, so letters I have for you today are K, P, V, Z, L, M, J, P, R, F, N. Okay, now for the names. Let's see if any of your co-workers, bosses, or... There's maybe new bosses or new people come in. Be interesting. Okay, so we have Jeremy, 
Dara, D-A-R-A, Chad, Al, Andrew, Cassandra, C-A-S-A-N-D-R-A, -S Terrell, T-E-R-R-E-L-L, -L, Craig, C-R-A-I-G, and we have Dakisha, D-A-K-E-S-H-A, and we have um, Sheena, S-H-E-A-N-A. -A. I need one more. And we have Bernie. Okay, those are the names. All right, guys, remember these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.